home. If America is your home, why can't you breathe? If America is your home, tell me, why can't you breathe? If America is your dream, then why is it a nightmare? The, the, the Americans, our African American brothers, what do you guys do for Africa? What do you do for your homeland? Everybody has to take out the homeland. Our Jews brothers are very smart. You know, you need to understand that before slavery of the black man started to take place, uh, before black men were sent to America, the Jews nation, Israel, was already, was already, the Jews were already deported out of the land. Way before, all right? But even centuries after centuries, the Jew people remain loyal to the land. They're still connected. They help each other. They still have the community mindset, all right? Not whoever they found themselves in France, it's the same thing. They have a community mindset. They make sure that they are well established in media. They are well established in, in politics, in, in, in business, in different sphere of life. And they don't just become rich for themselves. They become rich for the community. But black people become rich for themselves in order to flex on Instagram and sell some rags and some money and all that and act like you've made it. Brother, you haven't made it. If your community is still struggling, you haven't made it. You're a fool. That's the truth, guys. You're a fool. You're a fool. All right, things need to change. Our Jewish brothers are building Israel, even though they've never been there, even though they left Israel from centuries, centuries, centuries away, but they still know where they come from. But African American brothers were taken from Africa only a few centuries ago, but they have forgotten about the homeland. They think that America is their home. If America is your home, why can't you breathe? If America is your home, tell me, why can't you breathe? If America is your dream, then why is it a nightmare? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. Spending millions of dollars buying mansions. You know, a few years ago, 50 Cent bought a mansion that used to be owned by Mike Tyson. He bought it for four million something US dollars. And then many years later, a few years later, he, he, he decided to sell it. Okay, the mansion was listed at 18 million US dollars. They couldn't find a client, so finally the house was sold for 2 million something. So which means this was a bad investment. But now let me tell you something. Do you know how may, uh, what 50 Cent could have done with 4 million US dollars in Africa? With 4 million US dollars, he could have built a city or a suburb in Africa. And I'm not talking about a poor suburb, I'm talking about a modern suburb. They could build or you can you can build your own Hollywood in Africa. You can build your own California in Africa. You can build your own Washington in Africa. Because the truth is Washington, California was built with the hands of black slaves. So you can use the same hand to come and build Africa. But you don't want to do it. China is doing it. Our two brothers are doing it. But you guys don't want to do it because you think you're smart. You think America is a home, but then why can't you breathe, brothers? Why can't you breathe? Why do you have to look every time you're driving and the cop stops you? You're panicking. You don't know what you're going to do. You don't know if you're going to survive. You don't even know if you have to move your finger or not. Is that what you call home, guys? You need to wake up. LeBron James, wake up. Michael Jordan, Will Smith, wake up. Oprah Winfrey, wake up. And it's time for you to think about a home lane. Here, I'm in my car right now. I'm not, I'm not worried about the cops coming to stop me. I am free. I'm shouting. Hey, I'm shouting. Hey, no cops gonna come and stop me. Even if I'm shouting, making noise. Hey, no, hey, no cops gonna come and kill me right here. I'm in my mind. I'm in my hometown. This is my land. Africa, the motherland. We need to stop complaining every time. Saying that we don't make it because, you know what? This, this and that. But yes. If you don't want, if, if you want things to change in America, then you need to organize yourself. In the same way that our Jewish brothers organize themselves in America, the Italians organize themselves, you got to organize yourself. There's no organization. How many banks do you have? And if you have one, it, it, does LeBron James bank in that black bank? Does Oprah bank in that black bank? Does Michael Jordan bank in that black bank? Michael Jordan and Oprah, it's already more than $2 billion in terms of value. Imagine if they put that money in a black bank, what's going to happen? How many opportunities will be given to black entrepreneurs when it comes to loan? 
But you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't see community. You don't see motherland. That's the issue, guys. That's the issue. Akon has been telling you the whole time. Akon has been in America. He has achieved, uh, he has built more heat and everything. But he told you guys, America is not built for you. I'm going back to the motherland. Guys, come with me. Akon is doing big things here. He's living like a king. He's not even a president, but he's living like a king. He's doing big things that 50 Cent ain't doing, that Jay-Z ain't doing. Jay-Z, if you come to Africa, I'm telling you, your money will double. Your money will triple, but you're sleeping. You guys are sleeping. While Chinese are coming in Africa, they're making billions and millions of dollars in just one year, two years, five years. But you guys are staying there. And when you come to Africa, some of you, be, some of you act like you're full of yourself. You act like this is not your home. This is the East. We need to be united. You need to understand that I am you, you are me. And this is your land. If we don't feel community, if we don't pull our resources, our time, everything, our intellect together, I'm telling you, we will be complaining until the end of the world. We'll be complaining every time. You got to understand these things. You know, if all of you guys decide to come, Africa can be transformed in less than 10 years. Do you know how many years it took for Abu Dhabi to, to be changed, Dubai to be changed? It's a wilderness when they discovered that they had hoy. The leaders who were not self-centered like some most black leaders in America and most black leaders in Africa. They decided to use the oil for the people. They built houses free for the people. For instance, in Qatar. The health system is free. Do you have it in Europe? How many European countries have it? Does America offer that to black people or even just to every American? School is free for kids. Food free for kids. Transportation to school is free in Qatar. How many nations in Europe offer that? How many does America offer that to American citizen, white, black, Hispanic, and whatever? Qatar, a country that was poor many years, few years ago, based in wilderness. And today, as we speak, Qatar is like a paradise on earth. It looks more beautiful than California. So Qatar is more developed than California, than Washington. Why? Because the leaders, even though they were in the midst of the wilderness, when they discovered what they had, they decided to use it to better themselves. They decided to use it to better themselves. This is what we don't have. Whenever we have something, we don't want to use it for the community. We want to use it for ourselves. That's the issue that we have, guys. That's the issue that we have. The state needs to stop. We can't breathe, we can't breathe, we can't breathe. But if you cannot breathe, you gotta go out, get your own oxygen box, baby. Stop expecting other people to give you the oxygen to breathe in. You have your own land in Africa. According to statistics, Africa is the home of oxygen for the whole globe, for the whole earth. Most of the oxygen that Americans are breathing in America relies on the trees and, and the reserve of trees in Africa. So, American brothers, if you can't breathe, come to Africa. We have enough oxygen here for you guys. We have land for you. All right? We have, we have, big, we have your passports waiting for you. All right? We have everything you need waiting for you, for you to settle. There are some American brothers who are already coming back to Ghana, to Nigeria and other countries. Coming back, we need to change the way we do things. African leaders need to change the way we do things. We need to organize ourselves. Can you imagine Qatar when it comes to countries with the biggest oil reserve on earth? Number one is Venezuela in terms of oil reserve on earth. All right? So Venezuela is like the Jeff Bezos of oil on earth. Number 10 is Nigeria. The first African country in the least, in terms of all reserve. And Qatar is number 14. But guess what? Even though Qatar is number 14, but when it comes to health system, Qatar is better than Venezuela and Nigeria combined. When it comes to urban, when it comes to the structure, urbanization, cities, building, sophistication, modernization, Qatar is better, far better than Nigeria and Venezuela put together. Yet, Nigeria and Venezuela have more oil than Qatar. 
So it's not about what you have, it's about the heart. What are you willing to do with it? Do you care for your people? Do you care for your land? Do you have respect for yourself? For, when you are a person of dignity, you will think about building, taking care of your own. Because a man who has dignity will not be proud to see his wife naked or, or, or his kids starving. Because when they look bad, you look bad. So in Africa, when we have uh, uh, leaders, we don't mind having countries that are broken despite resources. It is because they have no self-dignity. It is because they have no self-esteem. And that's the worst kind of man that you can have on earth. Even the lion has a sense of pride. That's why a colony of lions is called pride. Most of African leaders have no pride. And you call yourself a man. Shame on you guys. Shame on all the African American leaders because you cannot even build an Africa city in America. Like China has China time. You can't organize yourself with all the wealth that you are, you are building. You can't. Shame on you African leaders because you are not doing what, it, what you're supposed to do. This is the issue that we have. Qatar has less oil than Nigeria and Venezuela put together. Yet when it comes to, to prosperity and everything else, I'm talking about everything, talk, talk about everything. Qatar is better and they've achieved that. Just in a few years, just in a few years, today Qatar looks like a paradise on earth. This thing needs to change, guys. So you can breathe, we can breathe. This is how we can breathe. If you want to breathe, let's build our own banks. If we want to build to breathe, let's build our own cities. If you want to breathe, come back to Africa. Just like the Jews go back to Israel, even though they are American. Just like Chinese still go back to China, even though they are Americans. Come and build Africa. You can build city here. Econ is currently building Econ City. Shout out to Econ. You are man. You got the brain. You got the brain, Econ. You got the brain. You're the man. You know why you don't see Econ spending his time showing, showing gold and highs anytime? That's for kids. That's for kids, guys. We need to grow up. We need to grow up and start doing big things. Start doing big things. Econ is talking about lighting up Africa. Why are you talking about being lit, being lit in the club? No, come and be lit in Africa. Come and, and light up Africa like Econ is doing. Come and build cities. You are more than welcome, my African brothers. Ask all those who came back. They are being treated. They don't worry about cops. They don't worry about not having loans. They are treating, they are being treated very well. Because in Africa, we as black people, we know how to treat people. In fact, even those who have heard us from centuries, we still treat them well. We still care for them. You've never seen black people try to take revenge on white people or on anybody else despite all the bad things that have been done to us. We are loving people. You know why? We, 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 we know why we are always forgiving and caring? Because that's the heart of a mother. And Africa is the mother of the world. Humanity is starting here in Africa. The reason why, that's the reason why black people are always forgiving. Yes, we the why black people always care. They are always willing to share everything they have. Even though they're starting, that's the heart of a, mo a mother. A mother will sacrifice herself to give the last meal to a kiss. Even though she sleeps hungry. That's a problem with Africa. We love too much. That's a good quality. But it's also our biggest problem. That's why a balance needs to be established. It is time to build Africa. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. That's because you are trying to breathe in a system that is not built for you. It is time for you to build your own system. Build your own banks. Come back to Africa. Build cities with the money that you have. You're going to live like kings over here. May God bless you. This is Ambassador Jay Wemba. Your brother. I love you, Jay-Z. I love you, uh, Mike Jordan, Oprah. I love all of you guys. But it is time to stop playing around. Because it looks like it's obvious that many people don't like us. Even though we love them. So let's take care of ourselves because we all we got. Shout out to all the white people who are not racist, all the Chinese who are not racist, all the Arabs who are not racist, who believe that we are all human and should be treated equally. Much love and respect to you guys. This is Ambassador Jerimba. I'm signing out.